this is Nikki Poo. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope you subscribe to my channel, like, and make comments down there so we can have that rapport and get to know each other better. I hope you enjoy my content. So let's get into it. So today is about purging. Right? I've been saying I have to get rid of some of the shoes that I'm not wearing. And it's making room for new shoes that I want coming up in 2024. <sighs> Guys, I've been <laughs> so overwhelmed. So much. This is so hard trying to pick shoes out that I have to let go of. And But I got to do it. I got to do it. I have to do it. Even though I don't even wear these shoes, I don't know. I, I just love the shoes. The shoes just bring me comfort, bring me joy, I guess. I don't know, but I have found a few. I know for a fact four pairs, they can go. They can go. I got three more pairs in front of me that I'm kind of on the fence about. <laughs> but they're probably going to be going. So let me start off and show you the shoes that I know for a fact can go. Alright. Now the reason that this is easy for me to pick these for is because it's a style of shoe that it's just not my taste. Not that the shoe is ugly. Not that it's just not my taste. Not, And I tried. You know. I tried to give the brand um a fair shake and not every shoe I don't like in this brand but this is the Joe Fresh Good 550s what was these called uh, uh, conversations or something like that conversations among us or something like that I never wore them. I'm not a canvas person and when I purchased these, because I do wear 550s, I will wear 550s, but when I purchased them originally, I did not know that they were canvas. I didn't. Didn't pay attention to that fact. Um, I hit on them, got them, and when they came in, I was like, oh man, they canvas. That's just me. I'm not a canvas person. Now, I do have a couple of shoes that are canvas, but um, I'm really not because it's so hard to keep clean so hard if I buy a canvas shoe it would basically be a shoe that I, I, I it could be a throwaway you know what I'm saying it's not gonna be a, a shoe I would spend a whole lot of money on because I know what the outcome would be so I have never worn them never put my foot in them nothing because when I seen that they were canvas it was an instant turn off for me so um, this is not that hard to let go of but like I said, I wear 550s, but I don't care for canvas. So, those shoes could go. Another Joe Fresh Good. What'd that say? Made for us. This is, um, I mean, the quality on point I mean, I mean really the, the box everything every on point material on the shoe on point just not me not my style it's just not my style it's the baby shower blue what is it voices among us or something like that or something but great material colors is pretty that's why I got it and I tried, you know, I wanted to try, I was trying to give New Balance a chance. So I was buying like each one of their styles. I was buying the V1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Didn't get the V6s, but I went up to a 5. Got like three pairs of 90-60s. I got the 2002Rs. So I was trying because I know it's in my psyche. It's in my psyche because, like I said, my granddaddy used to wear New Balances. And 
I just, like I say, my granddaddy wasn't a stylish person, so I, we can't rock. We can't rock the same thing. We can't. So, so uh, I was trying to, you know, give it a chance, see if it, if I could outgrow that thinking, and but it's still some things about the shoe that I don't like for me. But it's a nice looking shoe. Just not for me. It's not my style, my my taste. But it's okay. I'm not down in it. It's just not for me. So those could go. Another one. Bodegas. 9060 presentation was great. The box was great. Materials is great. Again just not for me. I've never worn these shoes. I ain't put my foot in the shoe. It's, it's just It just doesn't appeal to my taste. So instead of them just sitting here, I'm like, might as well just go ahead and let them go. Go to a good home to somebody who really likes them and will appreciate them, you know? So... That's why these are easy for me to let go because I've tried it, you know. I've actually tried it and it hasn't changed my feelings on how I feel about it. And I saw these before I had got the um, baby shower blue, um, the Joe Fresh Goods. I had saw these. Now these are all leather pair. And the other two pairs are suede. So I wanted to try each style to see, you know, trying to see if something would click and change my um, feeling on how I feel about them. And it did. So these four pairs. Were, were easy. The, the, these were easy to pick. They were real quick and easy. So I'm like, okay, well that's four cases that's empty right now. So, so that was pretty easy for me. But man, it is getting so hard. <laughs> so I picked these three. One pair that I have picked is the patent braids. Now, I like Chicago style over bread style. As you see, my bread wands are still dead stuff. But I have to have them in my collection because Jordan wore them. So, when these was coming out, it was hyped up so tough and and again, the resale was booming in. I mean, it was really booming in. So it was really hard to try and catch shoes and, and get them before the price skyrocket and go through the roof. So I tried to get them. I couldn't get them. And I hurried up and went on ahead when I seen the price was down a little bit and got them on StockX pretty close to retail. But they was I got them on StockX and I paid resale for it. But it... Um, I caught it before that price like really like went through the roof so I jumped the gun on these because if I thought that I liked them <laughs> I'm like I better get them before the price skyrocket see that's what that, that resale game that's what it did to it that's what it did to me right it's like I'm trying to find a, a, a spot to cop a shoe before that price goes through the roof and I'm not even quite sure if I even want the shoe. But I got to get it. I got to get it, right? So I jumped the gun and got these. They look pretty. They do. They look pretty. And I like that little jump man on the side there, even though I would never wear it with that on there. But I had these shoes now for what? It seemed like, what, two years almost or whatever? And I... I haven't, I haven't even went that route. And of course, this was, this is like a dress shoe to me anyway. All my patent leather shoes are like dress shoes, you know, so, but 
even even still at that, I still haven't went for these yet. Uh -uh. But they're pretty, you know. They are pretty. But they're just sitting there collecting dust. And I don't think that I'll be wearing these. So, because I still have a lot of other options. So I'm contemplating on letting these go. It's so hard, y'all. It's so hard because you don't want to make the wrong decision. And then you come back and you be like, dang, I could have wore those patent breads today or this would have went perfect with the, you know, it's just. Because you know when you go back to get them, the price is probably going to be through the roof. And you're going to be like, dang, I had them at a cheaper price and I got to pay more for them. It's crazy. Now these, I know for a fact that I could let these go. But I really didn't want to let these go yet until they re retro the white cement fours. Yeah. I, I have not rocked these yet. I haven't even looked at them. You know what I'm saying? They, they're just in the case. Just sitting there. So, I think I can let these go. These the, what, Midnight Navy or Navy Jordan 4s. Not wrong with them. They clean. They look good. <laughs> I just had too many other options. And if I haven't even looked at these shoes all year, you know what I'm saying? Only time I ever looked at them is when I did my, my uh, sneaker collection video and stuff. You know, like that. I, I never run to these so I think I can let these go another pair which is a lot of people love these shoes but military black they're clean there's nothing wrong with these shoes but I have so many black and white shoes to choose from. I don't run to these. Then they, they came out with the Jordan 4. You know, SBs. Then they're coming out with military blues and those are a must, must cop. That's a definite, I got to get that shoe. So, I don't really think I need these. I don't. I don't. But I know that Jordan 4 prices goes through the roof. And the scare part is letting them go. You know, you, you get them for retail. If you decide down the line, a couple, maybe not this year, maybe next year, you decided you want them. Now, they four, $500 shoes. Guys, this is really hard for me. This is a real dilemma because I love my shoes. But <sighs> so afraid of making the bad choices and which shoe to let go of. And it's not because because I could care less about the, the, the resale thing. That ain't the problem is when I want them and I want to wear them and I want to get them when I do decide to go get them. I'm going to be paying twice as much. That's the dilemma. Not that I'm looking for a come up. I got plenty of shoes if I was looking for a come up that I could get rid of and just get that money. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I'm looking That's not. I love my shoes. It's not about the resale game for me. It's about me having the shoes that I want and be able to wear them when I want to wear them. That's all. And it's really difficult, really difficult to let go of certain shoes because though I may not want to wear them now, I may want to wear them later. But I have to do it. I have to do it. This is where the discipline comes in. 
I'm gonna need you guys' feedback. Help me get through this. <laughs> and, and and hopefully the the suggestions and the help come from like-minded people, people that understand what I'm going through and not people that saying it's just a pair of shoes. You wouldn't understand because that's not your thing. But if somebody, if it was something that you were passionate about, something you cared about, then you could understand if, so, if you had to get rid of it or let go of it. And I'm passionate about my kicks and I love my kicks. So, ah, ah, this is so hard. But I'm going to get through it. I'm pushing myself. I'm going to get rid of these shoes. It would be nice to just, if I could do some trades, some even like, you know, if it was some shoes that was out when I knew it was, and I could just swap, bloom, and be done, that would be even better. But I don't know how this market is going to be. So I, I need to have my cases empty before the shoes get here. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, this is what I'm going through. I'm doing a little bit each day because it is really stressful. It is. And um, I'm going to need you guys' help. <laughs> Talk me through it. Walk me through it. Help me out. Um, you guys have seen my shoe collections and, you know, give me some ideas of what shoes that, you know, you think I should possibly get rid of. I mean, because it's really hard, you know, it's really hard, but I'm going to get through it and I'm going to do it. And like I say, I love my kicks, but... It is becoming overwhelming. I have entirely too many, and I'm not looking for my co my collection to grow. Okay, I am looking for my collection to change, but I'm not looking for it to grow. So, this is what we're gonna have to be doing every year: is purging out. We bring in, purging out, and not necessarily, hey, because I'm going to try my best not to spend resale for shoes, I might not be able to cop all the shoes that I want because of that. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But like I said, I'm, I, if I could do some trades, and I, I'm cool with that, you know. It's about getting the shoe that I want, and I don't want to pay more than I have to. <laughs> so, but that's what I'm up to, guys. It's a little rough, but I'm going to get through it. And we're going to see what's going to happen throughout the year. So, to a better 2024, this is Nikki Poop, and I'm out. Peace.